I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with me Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on breeches and sweats In today's video I'm going to basically be taking you through a day in my life And how I balance grinding and school and also social life um, so a little bit of background before we get in, I went to an in-person school until 2020 when COVID hit. This past year, I actually switched to be fully online. So it is an asynchronous school, which basically means that I'm not having direct connection with my teachers or classmates. And I am able to go to office hours and Zoom with my teachers if I need help, but it's not a required thing. I was able to create my own schedule, my own daily to do everything like that. So I'm kind of going to first take you through my schedule and then what I've done so far and then I'll kind of show you a day in my life. So as a schedule, I wake up at 6.30 Monday through Thursday and I start school pretty much at 6.45 every day uh, and then I'll go get some breakfast and then I kind of start the rest of my school day. I'm someone who likes to grind things out. I find that if I'm working, 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 say for two hours, and then I take a 30 minute break as kind of just to rest my brain, I get so unmotivated so fast. So I am huge on just like kind of grinding things out, maybe taking a five, 10 minute break in between. It's Thursday, by the way, it is Thursday, September 23rd, which is my dad's birthday, actually. So, happy <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna kind of show you what I've done so far and then give you just tips, tricks, things I've learned over the time. Okay, so like I said, it's Thursday. So this is like kind of the end of the week type thing. Um, I'm kind of wrapping up everything that I need to be doing. You guys maybe heard me say I only wake up at 6.30 from Monday through Thursday, right? So for me, I like to read Friday through Sunday to sleep in and catch up on any sleep I might need, let my body rest if it needs, whatever it needs. But I'm still working on Friday. I actually have a whole planner of what I need to do throughout the week. This is so important. So for me, I write out on Monday. I take my Monday mornings and I write out everything I need to do for that week. I don't schedule anything in advance. Sometimes I'll add things. Sometimes I'll even take away things, push things to another day, something like that. And I color coordinate them so that I know exactly what I need to do. And then it's kind of less stressful. I found at the very beginning of the year, I was so stressed and overwhelmed. This system has worked really well for me. So kind of a little setup I have here. Um, so I have the MacBook Pro with the M1 chip. Best computer I've ever had. It's awesome. I highly recommend if you're looking at getting a computer, you get the M1, the MacBook Pro with the M1 chip. It's superior. And then I have the HP 27 inch curved monitor. I decided that a monitor would just be really helpful for day to day use keeping my head up so that when I'm typing I'm more like this and not like this constantly because I found last year my neck, my back, my head really started to hurt. And then I'm going to take you guys down and show you guys what's in my desk drawers and everything. So these are my desk drawers. Um, they're from Ikea and so is my desk. In the top one here I have my calculator, my blue light glasses which I use daily. Um, my ruler, rulers have become my best friend with notes and my pencil case. And then in the back, I have some post-its as well as an adapter and gum. In the second drawer here, I have my flashcards. These are the ones that I'm currently using to study. And then these are the blank ones. And then I have folders in the back, but I have to be honest, um, I'm not really using that folders that much this year. Third drawer down is where I keep all of my notebooks. Fourth drawer here, I keep my whiteboard as well as extra pens and highlighters that I don't necessarily use every day, but I like to have. Bottom drawer, I just organize it and I'm obsessed with it. I have basically extra everything. So before we get into it, I'm going to start off with my morning routine. Now I did post my morning routine a couple months ago, but a couple things that are like necessary for me. Um, make my bed, first thing I do. But something that I've implemented this year, I actually didn't do it at all last year, put on like a little bit of an outfit. So for me, it's like a really comfortable sweater that's both like you can go out in public and like it's totally acceptable, but so comfortable and soft. Currently, 8.31. So um, this morning I got a Spanish test done and this math quiz done. And now I'm gonna head down and make some breakfast. But I don't really know what breakfast I'm gonna make this morning. I apologize in advance. We have construction still going on. 
Anyways, my breakfast kind of change each day. I think I'm gonna try to make this avocado egg toast thing. Oh no, that's easy. So to kind of explain what's going on here, white piece of bread, um, avocado underneath, I have eggs, everything but the bagel seasoning, and then this like salsa verde, kind of what I have to eat today. I, I honestly typically watch some sort of show or YouTube, or I read, I do read quite a bit. I'm back. Yeah. That's the plan for today. So I have to do the plasma membrane notes for my AP biology class. I also have to study for economics coming up. And I also have to work on like my junior seminar class because I haven't done any of that. And anyways, I'm going to do my biology notes right now. Um, they usually take me around an hour to two hours to do. And then I have a quiz tomorrow as well. Okay, note taking, super important in school. Um, so as I'm doing asynchronous work, I am constantly taking notes, writing things down. Here's how I do it. I prefer handwriting a lot of my notes. I think I understand things a lot more. How I do it is I usually will have like a main sentence like here, and then if I need to go into more detail about it or there's more to it, I do an arrow. If I end up falling into a second sentence within my notes, I indent the second line just so it makes it clearer and I understand that like the little paragraph I have to read and this is something new. For vocab and stuff, I use um, different highlighters. I thought I would come and sit and talk with you for a couple minutes about like the extra tips that I've kind of found over the past couple of weeks. Start off, change up your location every once in a while. I'm not saying every single day, but maybe once a week you go to the library. Or go to a coffee shop and go hang out with friends, kind of have some fun, but also grind out work. It's really great to have kind of something a little different than just sitting at your desk. Figure out what your priority is. And for me, and I think most people, school has to be the priority. Right, I love writing, writing's right there next to it, but school has to be the priority. You have to get school done. Check your emails frequently. In-person school or online school, check your emails as frequently as possible. Um, <laughs> Phones. Phones are something that is kind of challenging, I feel like, our generation a little bit because people become so addicted to their phones. I don't go on my phone until 2.45. I like to stay away from it. I think it distracts me for school. I like to grind out my schoolwork, get that done, and then from 2.45 on, I can be on my phone. I can watch YouTube, I can read, I can do briefs and sweats, I can do whatever I need. But having my phone with like right beside me is almost so tempting that I'm just like, no, I feel like that's all. I'm kind of really comfortable here. So yeah, I'm going to now do um, stuff for my junior seminar class. And it is 11, 10 and I'm starving. So I'm gonna go get some lunch. Okay, so lunch is for me vary each day depending on the leftovers, what's in the house, etc, etc. For lunch today, I think I'll just eat like a soup and sandwich for lunch today, just like a turkey and cheese, and then some just like chicken noodle soup thing. I wanted ice cream. So my current favorite ice cream right now is the Ben and Jerry's Half Baked. I don't typically have like very much dessert after lunch, but today's a special day. I don't know why. It's a lot later now. It is around 12.56. So I have about an hour and a half until I have to go get my siblings and then go to the barn. And I'm going to use this time to try to get some work done. I realized that I have MHC finals next week. So I kind of need to get ahead a little bit. I also have to do some SAT stuff and bring some sweat stuff. Let's do that. <laughs> well i went to go get my sat book and i'm pretty sure it's the thing that's blocking this ah oh, all right okay back to work Barn, 
um, but I don't like to bring my computer with me or anything to the barn. So I'm gonna leave my computer here and just bring me myself a knife. Okay, I'm here with Lou. Oh, and it's 3.30, we have a school clock lesson. <laughs> so I'm currently brushing him and then I'll get on him, right? And don't mind how dirty my helmet is. at the barn. Nat is currently wrapping Floyd. I am very, very sore from that lesson. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it. Lux is right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is definitely a late night, but we're getting Panera, which we're really excited for, right? Yep. Hi. I'm obsessed with you so much. Yeah, that's what I do all day long. I just spend time with my baby. Baby. Right? Another baby here. Hi, my love. Oh my god, I love you. Oh my god, I love you. And of course, the king. That's about all my tips. I'm gonna read and then go to bed because I'm so tired. And tomorrow is my sleeping day. It's Friday. Oh my god, guys. I look forward to Friday so much just because of that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, and I will see you guys next week for another blog post. Bye.